Okay, so here we are in uh, sunny Salford with Charles uh, doing a little test on the new cannon. So uh, I've been shooting on these cannons for 25 years now, so uh, I always buy the latest one and uh, it's always nice to see what it can do. Uh, got one of the first ones, so uh, hopefully it should be a good test. We're going to put it the Mark IV up against the Mark III using a uh, Canon 24mm tilt and shift to uh, shoot some buildings. So uh, I specialise in architecture, so I uh, should know what we're doing here. Uh, I've had this a couple of days now, so I've done a few tests on it, but uh, we're here to see uh, what it actually does and uh, hopefully in another few hours time we'll know what's happened. Uh, first thoughts on the uh, on the Canon are the, it's what they should have done years ago but it's uh, the fact that you can touch the back and make it work just like your phone is absolutely fantastic and if I was a Canon user I'd buy one of these just because you can touch the back and move the pictures about. Uh, it's got the usual bits and pieces and upgrades that you get on these things but uh, I think the most important thing is that touch screen which is the only thing I'm going to get excited about. It's got a few more pixels in there, but it's got a few less than the, uh, the 5DS, so uh, we'll be interested to see how it compares to that as well. Okay, this is the uh, Canon 5D Mark IV with its new uh, touchscreen, which uh, for those of you who are used to Canons wheeling the wheel, this is far simpler. So, so nice to use. So, uh, one of the best things that makes it worthwhile buying this piece of kit. I particularly like the uh, the new GPS that you now have on it. If I can find the GPS for you, I think it's number four. There we go. Um, I do a lot of shooting all over the UK and all, all over the world, to be honest. And it's always nice to know where shots are because you shoot details, you can't always tell where they are. They're lost in the filing system, or clients lose them in the filing system. It'll allow my clients just to be able to look at the pictures, see exactly which. Thing they're looking at. I do all of uh, McDonald's work in the UK and as everybody tells you all the McDonald's look the same even though they don't and uh, it'll allow us to be able to uh, pin down exactly where all the pictures were taken so uh, that's going to be a big uh, help to us in the future. Okay so here we are to show you the playback using the, uh, the new touch screen so that's the shot we've just taken and as if by magic you can slide your pictures as if it was an iPhone and with oop, two fingers we can zoom in pinch zoom, move your fingers about. Now why didn't we have that years ago? Well, I've been shooting with Canon now for uh, 25 years and I have to say this is the uh, best bit of kit we've got so far. Uh, best thing about it is it just looks like all the other Canons you've ever used. You can just pick it up straight out the box, put it in your hands, put a lens on it and start shooting. Uh, they've kept most of the buttons exactly where you want them and at the end of the day when I'm out shooting I don't want to be fiddling about looking at menus wondering how to do a job I just want to be able to pick up a bit of kit and know that I've got the best bit of kit available so uh, this one seems to tick all the boxes at the moment and I'm uh, looking forward to shooting with it.